Hey peeps, welcome. This is Levity from XSLimits.com, and for this time in After Effects, we'll be creating light streaks, like uh, this example right here. So let's get started. We're just going to import our footage. All right. What's important about footage? You will have, you will have, you will have to have on your footage light source like this one or some something lights on your footage. If you look right here, we see a couple of light uh, sources, like here, the lamps and um, the flash right here at the, above this, uh, this, uh, these buildings and stuff. All right, but here we got this little light and some some lights about right here, and from those things we'll be creating the light streaks effect, like seen here. So it's pretty easy. So um, it's very easy to follow. So let's begin. We got here footage. What we're going to do is just duplicate it. We're going to simply Control D to duplicate it. So now it's duplicated, and we will we'll be adding some couple effects right here on the footage. So we'll be adding um, directional blur because we won't have that uh, straight blur. Or maybe a vertical blur. You just decide right here. You see a just a horizontal blur, which looks uh, pretty pretty cool. So we'll be changing the direction to 90, which gives us that straight look, and we'll be blurring a lot. Um, minimum of uh, 300 will be okay. So the next what we're going to do is just blend this blurred footage on the original footage so now we're going to change the mode just click right here on this box and as you see here you can see the transfer modes and stuff so change it to screen and right here we can see our source right here because if we put this on and off you can see that this is the blurred image on the normal one so now what we need to do is to make that streak effect a little bit more highlighted so to do that we'll be going to color correction levels and we'll be adding that one on the blurred image now right here we got our effect control settings for the levels so we'll be pushing up the highlight a little bit more and bring out the input black and the gamer a little bit on the left so now right here we can see some of the streak effects that we created and it looks pretty nice so if I just go right here we can see some of the streak effects which looks pretty cool, uh, pretty cool. and if we bring that highlight a little bit more we can see that we really get that, um, that effect right there but you see here we got a problem because now we have here too much light what to do so we go back to our blurred image right over here and we'll be adding more like some about to 600 so right now we can see more details on the face right here of this guy and the blur looks a little bit more better so that is how to create a blurred effect which looks pretty cool and pretty original also so also we can adjust these blurred with this type so if you want to add a simple highlight or bring pushing it out uh, you just decide and just playing with the controls right here to get a nice a nice trick effect which a little bit more alright so now we got a nice effect now what also cool is is about recoloring this streak effect to do that we'll be just adding another effect right here call it hue and saturation alright we just add it and change it to hue mode we can change it to several light effects so right here I'm just kind of adding some blue which looks pretty cool the blue and uh, looks pretty kind of one shooting with uh, one of the cameras and it looks pretty cool which gives us also uh, like this guy he's singing on a uh, on simple video clip like it's, uh, it's pretty cool and you know it's 
pretty interesting effect and uh, especially on uh, enhancing uh, videos, home videos or uh, using in video clips, wedding videos is a good uh, is a good um, is a good feature to use it. So I really recommend to use this effect on your projects. And well, there was it, and it's pretty easy. You can use it on several things. Like here, I use it just a uh, still image, but right here, I just use it and uh, um, I use it the video, which looks pretty cool. I'm just bring in uh, the time controls right here. And just see right here, and just random pretty fast. Looks pretty cool while uh, on the motion. So, this is what we'll be doing, uh, and it looks pretty cool, especially when you're changing the, the, the colors just by hue changing. You can get some several of nice light effects. So, let's end it again. So it looks really nice. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was Levity from XSLimit.com, and of course, we got this guy from Los Santos from the video clip Umbejo, and looks pretty nice. Well, this was Levity. One more, once again, thanks for watching.